Quite a while ago, I was playing as the infamous P-8 in the popular tank plane and ship game, War Thunder. This was my first time using the P-8, and it had also been quite a long time since I had used a bomber in War Thunder. I did what anyone else would do, and I went to my fellow players to ask this question, and you won't believe what I discovered. So as I was approaching my bomb target, I went towards the chat to ask this question. No clue. You're on your own. Stop! I did what anybody would do and dropped a small amount of these 100 kilogram bombs. Sadly, I was shot down later. But now I had a new question in hand. So I quickly went to Google to look it up. I know what kind of man you are. I quickly realized I needed the battle rating of my plane. So I went back into War Thunder. Then I noticed the red stars on the back. I knew that these starts are the older versions of the Red Army Star. So then I had to find out when this plane was even created. The P-8, also known as the TB-7 ANT-42 or Petlyakov, was initially developed in 1339. This was an amazing discovery. As I dug deeper, I found that PE-8s have in fact been seen, even during the rule of the Margraviate of Brandenburg. The PE-8 was commonly seen and thought to be a giant bird. During the American Civil War, there was quite a few PE-8s seen around the place. The British reported late Claim these were hallucinations caused by the war's long timing. However, it was during the Napoleonic War that the P-8s were seen so commonly, even being spotted by Napoleon himself as page 173 of his biography. He clearly stated, Those massive birds seemed to watch us like bears, and I've seen a lot of bears in Russia. During the early 1910s, planes as we thought had just been invented, and the P-8s were seen as top secret planes of an unknown origin. In World War I, the plane seemed to have been so commonly seen that it was ignored at times to just be considered some new plane project that the higher-ups had been working on. Nobody feared the P-8 since it never attacked or damaged anything. It was clear the P-8s had found their new home. Soviet mechanics seemed to instantly know everything about this strange plane. The second it landed randomly in a runway in Kiev one early morning, 1936. This makes us wonder if there was any reason why these planes did this. The reasons might be more sinister than you think. The P-8 served very well all the way through the war, passing all expectations given and well beyond. Sadly, the P-8 was replaced by the TU for after World War II, and they have never been seen flying again. You may have noticed that not a single P-8 exists in any museum or hang around the world, almost as if they all disappeared. They're not real. You get that, right? None of it is real. The critics aren't real. That was until September 11th, 2000.